know, Ford, when Ford was good, made some fantastic cars and some really cool cars. One of the coolest cars on the road in the UK, the Mark III Ford Cortina, obviously made by Ford in the UK. Absolutely fantastic, love that. They also made this lovely Ford Ranchero with the old uh, 76 Stossi Torino front end. Absolutely brilliant. Great daily driver that as well. And they also did this, the Mustang. Now it's a fantastic car. It's really economical because it's a 3.8 litre, so you can use it as a daily driver without worrying too much about the fuel economy when you're driving it. Not that you should worry about fuel economy these days. Just fill them with petrol, use them, enjoy them. That's what they're there for. However, in this particular one, at the moment, the ABS light's on. Can't get it to go off, can't work out what it is. Now normally, you would just plug in an OBD reader or an OBD2 reader. The socket for the OBD2 reader is under here under the dash. Now, if you plug an OBD2 reader in there, it doesn't recognise that there's anything wrong with the car at all, as far as the ABS system is concerned. And the main reason for that is because the ABS test socket is not actually in the car, it's under the bonnet, between the battery and the fuse box. Now, on this 96 Mustang, the ABS system isn't checked on the OBD plug under the dashboard. It's actually checked on here. It's even got anti-lock tests on it. And the way to uh, check it, without taking it to a dealer and without having an OBD reader, you just grab hold of it, pull it out of its socket, take it to one side, turn it over, those three wires you want, and those three wires you want that black one and the orange one with the white stripe. You also need one of these, just an ordinary paper clip, and you want to bend it to look like that. And you just got to short out the black wire and the orange one and the white stripe. And just slide the paper clip in. Goes in the black wire terminal and the orange or the white stripe wire terminal. And then once that's in there, leave that on one side, go inside the car and do this. Turn the ignition on, but don't start the car. Keep an eye on the ABS light because it'll start flashing. What you need to do is count how many times it flashes and then it'll pause, then start counting again. The first set of numbers, or the first number, and then the second number, that's your fault code. Now if this works, we should get the ABS light flashing. One, two, three, four, five, six, pause, one. Pause. And then back on. So in the video you'll see when I'm counting it, the, the first set of flashes on my ABS light was the number six. So there's a flash six times, then there was a pause. And then the second set of flashes, it only flashed once. And then there was another pause, and the light came back on and stayed on. So that gives me an error code of 61. Now error code 61 is a power supply fault to the ABS pump or the ABS pump relay. But where the hell's the ABS pump relay? Can it find it anywhere? Now, when I was trying to find the information on what's wrong with the ABS and how you check the ABS, I posted a couple of comments on a couple of the forums or the pages on uh, on, on Facebook, one of which was uh, a group by the name of Simply Mustangs. Now, a very helpful lady by the name of Jan. Hi, Jan. Thanks for getting in touch. Thanks for sending us the information. And uh, obviously, I'll, uh, I'll put this video out a little bit later on tonight so you can see or so you and Phil can see exactly where the ABS socket is to do all the testing. But thanks for getting in touch. Uh, sadly, that hasn't helped with the situation at the minute, but I'll keep searching. Somewhere, somehow, I'm going to find out where the really relay is, and we'll get the ABS system sorted. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. Now, Jan said that the relay was the last one on the right, on the bottom row, in the far right of the fuse box under the bonnet. So that would be this row here, and that one there. Now unfortunately John, John was right when he said it's a fuse. It is a 60 amp fuse so it could well be for the, it is definitely for the ABS but it's a 60 amp fuse as you can see it's perfectly sound there's nothing wrong with it. So that unfortunately isn't the relay. So the search continues. So if you know where the ABS pump really is, leave us a comment below so I can find it and I can get the car fixed, I can get the damn thing MOT'd and back on the road again. Thanks so much for watching this one and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of this one uh, to be continued at a later date. Bye for now.